All right, everybody. <laughs> I, I knew I was going to do that as soon as I busted this up. Oh, boy, call a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to help myself. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the uh, the Flytech Crocodile Boat. Boy, it's hard to keep a straight face when you're doing one of these gag videos. Okay, so I mean, this, oh boy, I actually had no idea until I opened it up that it was actually made by Flytech. So uh, here's the box, and we're gonna show you uh, what's inside the box here in a second. Just hold on a sec. Okay, inside the box you have the crocodile head itself which looks pretty good okay it's a head <laughs> and there is the hollowed out part and the way this does this is fits over a boat I didn't actually know how this was going to work when I seen it on the videos that I saw but yeah that's how this is this is just a, a resin plastic type head it's quite a little bit of weight to it actually so there's that then you get the transmitter, and the transmitter is just one of those forward. I think this side does the turning up for left and down for right. And then this is the acceleration right here. You get the cable, the charging cable, and that plugs right into the bottom part, which is right here, the base of the boat. You could probably actually just spin this around. This has a 500 milliamp hour battery in it and two props, dual props. And there's where you charge it right here. Plug the charger in, plug this into the USB. It takes about an hour. And then they give you two of these little covers to put on here when you're using it to cover up the, the port so it doesn't get wet. So when you put it together, you put one of these on there and they don't fit real good. So they give you an extra one just in case that, that one falls out. So you get an extra one and you get the manual and it tells you how to steer the boat and stuff like that. But really there's not a lot to it. You know, you charge it up, throw it in the water and it goes. Basically that's about it. And it has some kind of safety mechanism on here I don't actually see it but it has some kind of sensor on here because it won't work unless it's in the water so I don't actually see that sensor but supposedly it's in there so we're gonna go check it out here in a second anyway and anyway the way you put it together is you see these two holes here here and here they line up with that and that right there and then you just snap it together now getting it apart is a little bit cumbersome because when you're going to take it apart see I put it together like this and when you go to take it apart you got to kind of like pull up on the props and to get the one side out and then you just got to work it loose because it does snap in there pretty good but you just work with it for a little bit and you'll get it apart so all right let's just go check it out well since i had to clean the pool anyway i figured i'd show you how the gator head works <laughs> it's a little tricky steering this thing You just want it to go straight. I think you turn, yeah, you just push on the right stick. You just push the right stick forward. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Okay, so you push both sticks forward just to go straight. Oh, it, it has the two motors. So that's how it steers. It'll turn one motor to turn to the left and then the other motor to turn to the right. So you actually have to work both sticks at the same time. So pressing them both forward at the same time 
will give you the desired effect of just going straight. And then when you let off one, it'll turn. So to go out and back, you would just let go of one. Let me get it going there. So you would. It's a little trick. It's a little tricky to get used to. Let's put it that way. There, straight like that. Both of them forward. It kind of oversteers a little bit, so you gotta you gotta account for that too. That there's a top speed right there. So it's pretty slow, but it's not supposed to be fast. It's supposed to be scaring people at the beach, okay? That's what it's supposed to be for. And it looks like the motors will go in reverse too. If you pull back on the stick, it'll, it'll go the other way. Like that, right there, okay. There, you just gotta get you just got to get used to it, that's all. You just got to get used to the oversteer, because that's what it's going to do. Yeah, it's a cool toy. You know, for some kid to take to the beach and torment his friends with it, scare people. Of course, I'm not going to do it because I'll get shot or arrested. You're better off if you're a kid doing something like this, gag, gagging like this, because you're not going to get in that much trouble. Somebody like me, they'll throw me in prison, okay? I'll be going to jail for doing something like that. You should know better, old man. So there you go, the crockhead. Yeah, it works fine. No. He just takes a couple minutes to get used to the control scheme here. And the range, yeah, I don't, I don't think I would let it get too far out of range anyway. I'm sure it would go to the end of the pool, so, you know, it's probably like 40, 50 feet or something like that. But it seems to be doing fine. All right, guys, there you go, the gator head. Yay. All right, guys, there you go, Gator. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> okay, like I said, it has a 500 milliamp hour battery in there. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how long it's gonna go. I'm not gonna drive it around. It's gonna go long enough for you to get a gag out of it. Let's put it that way. All right, guys, have a nice day.